Hi, welcome to excellab.org. We'll see how to create dashboard and dynamic charts of option portfolio and we'll see how to calculate profit of that portfolio. So here I'll be using various Excel features like data validation, array function which is the crux of this model, if condition, absolute which is dollar sign and last we'll make the chart okay so let's say this portfolio it has five contracts so first select the five cells and there you put the data validation so the first settings click on the list and source so there are two call and input okay so here we can see okay so i'm selecting first three call and and two put okay now this call input is represented by one and minus one so it becomes very easy when you put you know when you quantify the things especially when you use the uh, the looping and the conditions okay so so during time of you know if condition it is very helpful so again it should be automated so here i'll be using if condition so if okay a7 is equal to ce okay so this is the logical test and if it is so then it represents one otherwise minus one okay and there you can use autofill so let us check okay so it's working right now strike and the premium we take the real data so i will take the data from nsc india okay so take i'm taking reliance industry so take the call one okay call and let's say strike starting with 720 and so it's showing 83 so for 720 it is 83 so we take different 740 760 and for put we take 820 and 840 okay we'll check the data okay check the premium so for 740 it is 100 for 760 it is 84 so 184 and for port we take 820 so it is 5.5 and 17.10 so 5.50 and 17.10 again our contract let's say let's say two two one 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 okay now here okay so we take share per contract okay so so it is 215 the lot size is 250 okay now what i will do i will consider different spot price and and will check you know the portfolio profit so so let's say starting starting spot price and the increment okay and the step size okay so starting with let's say 600 and step size is let's say 10 okay so i'll put here various spot price and here portfolio profit okay so starting with 600 make it absolute and then the next cell your 600 plus the increment value which is 10 make it absolute okay so take up to let's say 900 so, so take up to 900 okay now we we see the portfolio profit what is the profit of this portfolio at different spot price considering the strike price and the premium okay so starting with if condition and here the logical test okay so i will put one more parenthesis and the test is your spot minus 
the strike so i will select the whole range the portfolio the whole portfolio because i'm i'll be using array function here so select the whole whole range and this range i am multiplying with the call or put okay which is represented by 1 or minus 1 so if this is more than 0 okay then okay now now see okay if d14 which is 600 600 minus 720 which is minus 120 minus 120 i am multiplying with 1 so which is minus 120 so minus 120 is more than 0 so this is not valid true it will take the false condition so here i'll put the true condition so starting with again parenthesis and same i will do okay okay this is uh, i am writing the intrinsic value or you can say the payoff at expiration and then i will multiply with again the call or put i am linking this value with the call or put okay thing should be automated so link this then you multiply with number of contract or give the range okay better give the range and number of share per lot okay so better you put in put in the parenthesis okay so this is true and if it is not okay if it is not true then it will take zero okay in the false it will take zero okay so if it is not true it will take zero right okay check for the put also it is minus one okay and this is 840 so 600 minus 840 which is minus 240 so minus 240 and minus one which is 240 so 240 is greater than zero so it will take this okay so for both call and put this formula will work okay you close it and now we reduce the premium part okay so again give the range multiply with the premium and multiply with number of share in a law okay close the bracket now remember this is a portfolio okay we want some of this okay we want consolidated results so here in the beginning i will put some and put the bracket okay right now let me enter this control shift enter okay Sh so you can see it is minus 3150 okay now i'll be using autofill here okay so again activate this and using f2 and you know uh, freeze all the values so we only want you know this d column to be changed this value to be changed everything should be same this all the strike price number of contract premium it should be same so using f4 i will make it absolute except d14 or d column which are different spot price okay control shift enter we got it okay now now we can use autofill okay you can double click on this autofill fill handle so we have different value you can see okay now, now let us make the chart okay the dynamic chart so select the values and then you go to insert and then the chart okay this one Okay, we can see you know like uh, this is how the chart looks and suppose if I change the values okay if I change the values let's say you know this we can see this is this is a negative portion this is a loss part okay we can see the portfolio loss here all the negative values here so this is a loss part so let me change it make it call you know zero 
zero okay now we can see you know up to certain extent we have minimized the loss the port will loss okay so when the spot is 800 you can see from 800 800 to 860 we can see the loss part okay this one okay this is how it works okay uh, let me put this also zero okay now now you can see you can see okay this is for the port okay this is you can see the payoff and this is the premium part right this is a premium you can see starting with 820 when the spot is 820 the portfolio make the loss okay otherwise it is in profit this is how it works